So do you feel as though social media plays a role in spreading alternative facts? And how can we as citizens make sure we are getting real news and facts? So a few things. Um, I have a Facebook page, Jeremy McClellan Comedy, and you don't have to like it, but that's just where I'm operating from. Uh, so, and... Yeah, so social media is a very interesting sort of thing because, you know, as, as Linda said, uh, it is all about the headlines. I will post something, it'll have a catchy headline, uh, it'll have 200 likes and 50 shares uh, in the first two minutes. How does that happen? People just read really, really, really fast. Like, I don't know how it happens. So obviously they just see it, like boom, like that, and they'll share it, and that's how it, and that's how it happens. Also, it's not just the fact that we, we want stories and we, we, you know, we see stories that we love and, and they just make us feel so good because they confirm all the things we already believe. But um, there's, there's this great quote by C.S. Lewis uh, where he says, imagine you're reading the newspaper, and in the newspaper you hear a story about some horrible atrocity committed by your enemy. Right? And that just fills you with anger because he's your enemy and he does something evil and so you, you, know, you believe it. And the next day, you read the newspaper and update. It turns out that it wasn't that bad. It turns out maybe it didn't happen. Maybe your enemy isn't as bad as you thought. The test is this. Is your first response to be thankful that your enemy isn't as evil as you thought? Or is your first response to cling even more firmly to the first story? Right? And that's a very human uh, reaction to stories. It's a very human reaction to that. And people just share things that already fit their biases. And um, it's something that we all do. And what that leads to is us living in different, you know, sort of factual universes. Um, another thing that we haven't really talked about is, uh, is the role of bots and corporations. Uh, my page lost about 500 followers yesterday. And the reason why is because Facebook purged all of the fake accounts and all of the fake bots. Now, I've never purchased any fake followers or fake bots, right? Which means that there were at least 500 people, people who were following me, commenting, who were not real people. Right? These are robots that are created by corporations to push, you know, push false things. So you may get hate mail online. You have no idea if that's a real person or not. It could be one person who keeps creating more and more things. Uh, right now I'm getting a huge uh, battle of these uh, Modi supporters in India who hate me for saying stuff about cow vigilantes, these Modi bots. And uh, so there are all these people, and I delete them, I ban them, and they create new profiles, like new, new, new people, like new profiles, and then I, I ban those, and they'll create new things, right? And they'll just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. And, you know, in my opinion, if you're a Hindu extremist and you don't want me making fun of you, you shouldn't reincarnate yourself <laughs> on Facebook over and over and over, just an observation. But that is the world that we live in. That is the internet world that we live in. You do not know what's true. You do not know if these are real people. You do not know if, uh, if all those things. I know the most recent uh, <laughs> season of Homeland, everyone in here's favorite show, right? Uh, in Homeland, the main culprit, the main bad guy in it was someone who ran a bot machine that just spreads these false things. If you see a news story, uh, search it on Twitter, go to latest, and you will see just bots over and over and over, sharing this story, making sure it rises to the top, okay? And people will pay to have this happen. So it, there is a, I don't want to sound like Alex Jones, but like there is an information war going on, a war for your mind, and uh, it's a very real thing, and we have to be very, very careful that we are not uh, ourselves taken in by stories that we wish were true. Um, and that's something that I really see as a big danger moving forward. So thank you.